So check this shit out. The Kent County Courthouse facilitated pedophilia towards my minor children. My daughter was very healthy, had a common yeast infection, and uh, because of the neighbor's bad action words, I had to take my child to the doctor's office. They let one of the abductors, okay, people who were drug trafficking and stole my kids from Georgia and brought them up here, okay, these sick individuals decided that they were going to chop at penises and tell lies about them supposedly being the parents of my kids, and they're not. But now I find out that they're facilitating blackmail money, extortion money, defraudment on my estate. They are actually paying these disgusting kidnappers money without even, without my consent, okay? So these people through fraud, through DHS, food stamp fraud, government grant fraud, Medicare fraud, Somehow I'm getting a $313 deduction even though my check is less than $1,000 a month and I'm applicable for DHS services, but they're fraud defrauding me all that while they're giving money to, yup, blackmailers and extortionists. I'm not paying child support to a domestic terrorist. I am not paying child support to a traitor to his country. I'm not paying child support to someone who supported infiltration in his own fucking unit, turned his back on his goddamn wife, and somehow thinks that he's going to mean something to her at some point. The Kent County Courthouse is an abusive, sick group of mentally ill fucks. They have male detectives in the child abuse section take healthy fucking kids right in to get a gynecological exam. Don't need to, but they do. So they build distrust within the community. I watched the man who used the abortion tool on me, who had sexually assaulted me and used drugs and shit, deal with a dope trafficker's relative in a family court case that neither one of them belonged in because they both were part of the abduction of my cancer research specimen. They're fucking mentally ill, and I want people to sue Kent County, Michigan, the Kent County Courthouse, the Family Court, the Probate Court, and the Criminal Court for improperties, improprieties. Make sure you put Danielle Renee Vanovitz Smith as the number one victim so that whatever awardings I'm supposed to be get, I can get to my nonprofit and flip back in the community. But make sure that if you are asking for your money back, when you deal with that attorney, you do so for the greater good of the collective because I have been bitching and bitching and bitching about my child being abducted by human trafficking pedophiles since it happened. And Mindy Lee Johnson's relatives have one of my spondylitic children that they have literally done surgeries on illegally without my permission.